Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful Empowered Harmonizers. And we are zooming in and focusing in today on a great topic. And this is a response to a viewer question who states they have a difficult time detecting a narcissist or a psychopath. And they want to do this so they can prevent future issues and problems within themselves and relationships. And so we're going to zoom in and focus in on that topic. But before we get started, I want to give a super huge shout out to those of you who have recently made donations to the channel over the weekend. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to host and create this content, these discussions, and provide support and resources for you. So thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and giving me your words of kindness. It's really in my experience that those people who donate, who have some skin in the game, and actually step up, who are investing in their future, are the people who actually heal the most and the most rapid. They actually are responsive with steps and progress to report. So thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and having responsibility and accountability to yourself you're really going to heal when you really have taken that next step. So thank you so much and, and absolutely positively for those of you who would like to participate and give back and step up. Absolutely, please do feel free to donate at the PayPal Donate Now button here at the About page at the Peace and Harmony channel. So thank you so much. And it is my best wishes and much love and gratitude going out to you specifically. So we're going to zoom in and focus in right now on how to detect a narcissist or a psychopath. And really one thing that is shared in common is to understand the love bombing phase. Love bombing, which means these people, when they are trying to set up a relationship and really sort of get you in their clenches, get you in their jaws, get you in their talons, get you in their grip. They will go through what is known as a love bombing stage. And it is not out of genuine love, sort of uh, mutual respect, uh, coming out of a boundary respect in observance, coming out of a standard, um, coming out of a sort of peace, coming out of a sense of self-esteem and notice that what we're exemplifying in the relationship is it's not coming from a healthy standpoint. It's coming out of a standpoint of manipulation, exploitation that is contradictory to your own best self-interest. It is coming out to really... Um, coming out of their needs and not your own. So it's coming from a very immature standpoint. And that is what really love bombing is about. A person who is narcissistic or psychopathic, they aren't able to be self-sustaining, self-generating, meaning that they don't always have security at the forefront of their relationships. They are not autonomous in that respect. So there's a a really sort of pathological dependence, meaning they need others to stroke their ego in order to get by. And not in a small amount, not in a healthy narcissistic way, but in a pathological extreme and to the contradiction to their own positive self-regard. In other words, the narcissist and the psychopath will engage in love bombing what does this look like? It is what you might uh, consider patronizing. Um, it might consider what you call, you know, um, deliberate, calculated, sweet nothings, which are empty, which do not mean anything to these individuals, but are meant to placate or play on the emotions of others to the point where in other words, they are engaging in self-betrayal, lying to themselves in order and basically lying to their target in order to get whatever it is they need. And there is a sort of a parasitic 
dynamic, but which is not able to be viewed or understood or seen by the target. So in other words, they will look for those people who are vulnerable, those people who are needy, those people who are lonely, those people who have you know, might have recently encountered um, a divorce or a breakup or who are super lonely, who don't, you know, maybe connect to others right away. And these people are able to target and suss you out from a group, from a workplace, from a church gathering, from the grocery store. These people have their radar on, particularly those people who are psychopathic. These people, because of their inability to have and experience emotion, such as love, such as humanity, such as moral compass, such as right or wrong, because these people don't have this experience, they literally do not. Even though on the outside shell, they appear to have um, a a ex experience of such, but it is all manufactured. It is all created. It is all in their head and not in their heart. They don't have, it is a very deep, cold, unaffectionate experience that these people have, but they have developed an, ad an adaptation <clears throat> of the experience of such. So they might be affectionate. They might tell you sweet nothings, but they might not really mean it, meaning that they don't feel it. They have developed it as a coping mechanism, as a, a tool of manipulation to get people to do what they want. Um, and this might mean opening up your doors to live with. This might mean paying for their child's education. This might be, you know, giving the uh, semblance of having relationships at the workplace. In other words, these people might target you know, right when they join a workplace and they're looking for others who they can buddy up with in order to give the appearance of being in with the in people. In other words, they'll find the people who have the contacts, who have won the awards, who are great and great standing at their jobs. So these people are, you know, ripe for the picking. In other words, they have, you know, sudden, uh, sudden association with these people so then they are you know appearing as if they have the qualities to get the best relationships in the workplace and so the love bombing in in order to see this you have to understand <clears throat> that these people will become close to others very quickly so a good way to identify is the people who not only do they catch you off guard, but there are the people who all of a sudden you feel an immediate kinship with. And immediate kinship means all of a sudden, you know, you are finding you all of a sudden don't feel so lonely anymore. And it's instantaneous. It's in the snap of a fingers where all of a sudden this person is calling you out of the blue. Somehow they've gotten your number. No one else has done this before. Here's the answers to your prayers. All of a sudden, you feel like you want to drop everything and, you know, have reckless abandon for this person. Um, you can't stop thinking about this person. Um, they are always on your priority. They are love bombing you. All of a sudden, they might be giving you medicine. They might be giving you money. They might be showing you their social security number. Here comes their resume. Um, here comes their family album. All of a sudden, this person is disclosing a whole ton of information to you, like out of the blue, or they're asking you for things which ordinarily you would not expect. Um, how to help them um, with their job, um, which might be normal, but really to the abnormal extent. Um, you know, helping them move into their place in their new house, their new apartment, and you've just met them. They're at, like, they're jumping like 10 or 15 steps in the relationship. And you're like, wow, you know, you trust me already. It is these people 
who don't need the trust of others. They have a different perspective. There is something going on in the gears which ain't normal. You're not dealing with a normal person. You are dealing with someone who is malignant narcissist or psychopathic. <clears throat> These people will unequivocally paint the picture of being an, a friend, your closest confidant in the first day of meeting them. Um, these people might will break down your boundaries little by little and they will be in touch with you um, when you're at your work job, when you're supposed to be sleeping, when you're supposed to be eating, um, when you're driving. These inopportune times you'll see these all of a sudden sweet nothing texts and these people are very on your tail why didn't you know you know you know text me back and stuff like this they just it is you know they are basically building up their posse they're building up their squad they're in the love bombing stage and it is very important to understand that most people would not get this close this quick that's just one one um, hallmark trait and we're going to wrap it up and we're going to continue on the next video this is your buddy peace and harmony with you here today i hope that these videos do help please share please subscribe for more great tools videos discussion and support peace out love you